Good morning, family. I'm Pastor Julia. My husband and I, Jerry, lead World Missions here at the Way World Outreach. And I'm here to share with you a quick testimony of what God has taught me about fasting. You know, as a new believer, I was so defeated. It seemed like I could never finish a fast without giving into the temptation of food. And although I had a deep desire to finish strong, my spirit was willing, but my flesh was weak. But one day, as I was reading the word, I came across a story. The disciples brought Jesus some food, but his answer changed my life. He said, my food is to do and finish the will of the Father. Upon reading that, I was so excited. I knew that it was God's will for me to be able to fast and finish without giving in to the temptation of food. I gained a new passion for fasting. I decided I was gonna try it again, but I wasn't gonna wait for the beginning of the year. I was gonna start. And so I challenged myself. I did it one day, then I did it three days in a row, then I did it five days in a row, and before you knew it, I was growing in confidence, and I was also gaining spiritual strength and endurance for, for the fast. But something greater happened than that. Then this time when I fasted, I concentrated on the food that Jesus spoke of. In fact, looking back over my life, some of the greatest times of prayer and basking in the, in the presence of God's love have come from times of fasting. So family, I encourage you, don't let fasting happen just once a year, but make it part of your lifestyle of worship to the Lord. Set times on your calendar. Make it a goal in your daily growth book and you'll experience the nourishment and satisfaction that only can come from God's love. So now let's go to our daily devotion and look at scriptures in Matthew 6, 28 through 33. And why worry about your clothes? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing, yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things saying, what will we eat? And what will we drink? And what will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly Father already knows all of your needs. Seek first the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. So what can we take from this passage and apply it to our lives? Number one, we see he's addressing worldly thinking. In verse 32, he says, things, these things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. We hear his warning. He's telling us not to worry. So let's look at what worry is. Worry is simply this. It's fear-filled thoughts. And he tells us in verse 33 how we can overcome worry. Verse 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added to you. He's saying, stop worrying, seek me. But let's look at this in the Amplified Version. Verse 33, but first and most importantly, seek, aim at, strive after his kingdom and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right. He's saying, seek me first, seek my way of doing and being right. But we know this, Doing right and being right only comes from right thinking. So in order to stop worrying, we have to change our mind and change our thoughts by seeking Him. Where will we seek Him? In His Word. It's in the Word that has the power to transform our thoughts. It's in the Word that we will find faith-filled thoughts to receive all that we have need of and all the more. 
And lastly, he goes on to say this, so do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has trouble of its own. So guys, he's telling us trouble is coming for the peace that you've received through faith when you sought him. Faith says, I have peace even when I don't have the answer. And faith says this, no matter what tomorrow brings, I won't worry because he's been to my future and he's declared it is good. Well, that's the scriptures for today, family. It's been a joy to be with you. Guys, we're at the tail end of this fast. Let's finish strong and let's get excited. Impartation is almost here. You don't want to miss one night. God has an impartation for you. Love you, family.